Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these little booties for baby girls between three and six months old. They're very easy to make. Now, I made these little booties to match the little dress and this matching little bonnet that I already showed you. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the links to these tutorials along with these cute little Mary Jane slippers. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this baby yarn. I'm using super soft baby double knit. Now, to begin, I have 17 chains on the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. I'm going to make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next chain. Make sure that when you make these chains, only go through one of the loops. And then continue just making one double crochet for each one of the chains until you come to the last chain. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these double crochets. I still have one more chain left. I have 14 double crochets plus the two chains we have here at the beginning. Now into this last chain, we're going to make seven double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Now pull this yarn so that this hole here closes. Now we're going to make 14 double crochets along this other side. So beginning into this next stitch, make your first double crochet and continue making one double crochet for each of these stitches until you have 14. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 14 double crochets. Now into this next stitch right here, right there, you're going to make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, but the double crochet, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row. So for the first row, we have 14 double crochets, 14 double crochets, seven double crochets, and seven double crochets. So that's 14 plus 14 plus seven plus seven, that's 42 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two. Now the two chains do not count as a double crochet. Here we're going to make 14 double crochets. So beginning into the same stitch we did the slip stitch, which is the first double crochet, make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, and so on continue and make these 14 double crochets and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 14 double crochets, not including the two chains. Now into these next seven double crochets, we're going to make two double crochets on each. So beginning on top of the first one, make two double crochets. That's one, two, into the next, three, and four, into the third, five and six into the fourth, seven and eight into the fifth, nine and 10, and 10 into the six, 11 and 12 and into the seventh, 13 and 14. Okay, see, that's how we're going to work this part here. Now we're going to work these next 14 double crochets. So continue and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 14 double crochets. Now into the next seven double crochets, we're going to make two double crochets on top of each one. So beginning into this first one, make two double crochets. That's one and two into the second, 
three and four into the third five and six into the fourth seven and eight into the fifth nine and ten into the sixth eleventh and twelve and into the seventh thirteen and fourteen now to finish we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished this second row now for the second row we have 14 14 14 and 14 so that's a total of 56 double crochets now i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay so we finished the second row with a total of 56 double crochets so here i've cut my yarn so just pass your yarn through that that last loop now this part here is done it's measuring about 11 centimeters which is almost 4.5 inches now i have two stitch markers this is just to determine the center here on this side so we have 28 stitches on this side and 28 stitches on this side so this here is the center so what we're going to do next is i'm going to remove this stitch marker i don't need it so into this stitch right there i'm going to insert my hook i'm actually going to go like this because this is going to be the right side this is going to be on the inside of the baby booty so here we're going to grab a loop bring it through the front like this chain two the two chains never count as a stitch from here on they're just there to cover any gaps that are left when you join um, instead of joining to the chains we're going to join to the first double crochet so here beginning into the same stitch here i'm going to make a double crochet then double crochet into the next and so on this is all i'm going to do all around just make double crochets at the end of this row i should have a total of 56 double crochets as well now i'm going to make these double crochets because i want to show you uh, something here when you come to where we've been joining for these last two rows that we did oh and we're going to start counting rows so this is going to be your first row so here we have the chains and then the the double crochet make sure you go on top of the double crochet to make your next double crochet this is so that you don't add an extra stitch if you do the double crochet here on the on the chains instead so so just jump there to the double crochet and then continue around just making double crochets like this so continue and i'll meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 56 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now, before I continue, i like to clarify something. Many of you have um, emailed me and asked me, why do I chain two instead of chain three and have the chain three count as your first double crochet? I don't like to chain three because then that would mean that I would go into the next stitch and make my first double crochet and then there, there will be a gap between the three chains and the next double crochet so I prefer to make the two chains so that this part here looks nice and neat and there's no gaps so that's that's the simple answer so here to continue for this row all we're going to do is just make double crochets on each one of these stitches so continue all around at the end of this row you're going to have 56 double crochets not including the two chains continue and i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this second row i have 56 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now, this is how i finish this second row with 56 double crochets now for the third row what we're going to do is we're going to start now reducing here the front of the baby booty so here i have placed two stitch markers so between this stitch marker and the first double crochet i have 16 double crochets between this stitch marker and this one right in the front i have 24 double crochets then between this stitch marker and the last double crochet here i have 16 so 16 16 24. so for the third row chain two and into the same stitch here make a double crochet 
here we're going to make a total of 16 double crochets so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these 16 double crochets not including the two chains now into these next 24 double crochets we're going to work stitch reduction so yarn over insert your hook into the next double crochet grab a loop take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close here's our first stitch reduction which counts as one double crochet so again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next take two loops off three loops on the hook close here's our second double crochet again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next take two loops off three loops on the hook close this is how i'm going to continue from here on so that's that was three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we have 12 stitches here for the front now we're going to continue and finish these last 16 double crochets so continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this third row to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how I finish the third row now in this row we have 16 double crochets plus 16 plus in the front we had 12 double crochets so that's a total of 44 double crochets now in the fourth row what we're going to do is we're going to work 12 double crochets here first so to begin chain two and into the same stitch here make a double crochet continue and work these 12 double crochets and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these 12 double crochets not including the two chains now into these next four double crochets right here we're going to work a stitch reduction so yarn over insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next take two loops off three loops on the hook close same thing into the next two three loops close now these next 12 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 um, these are the stitch reductions that we worked on the previous row so we're going to reduce this part a bit more as well so to do this same thing yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch take two loops off yarn over insert your hook into the next take two loops off three loops on the hook close again work another stitch reduction three loops close so here I have let's see I have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so we did ten stitch reductions here and that's what it looks like so now we're going to continue and just work these last 12 double crochets so continue and I'll meet you right about here right at the end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making these last 12 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished this 
fourth row. Now in this fourth row, we have 12 plus 12 plus 10. That's 34 double crochets for this fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Here we're going to make 12 double crochets again. So I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 12 double crochets. Now here into these next two stitches, we're going to work a stitch reduction. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now into these next stitches, except for these last two, we're going to just make double crochets. So make a double crochet on top of the next, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now into these next two stitches, these last two, we're going to work a stitch reduction. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now here we're just going to continue working these last double crochets. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these last 12 double crochets. Now to finish this fifth row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for this fifth row, we have 12 plus 12 plus eight. So that's 32 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. For this row, all we're going to do is just double crochets all around. Just continue making double crochets. At the end of this sixth row, you should have 32 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. To finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the seventh row, chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. Here for the seventh row, we're going to make double crochets all around so that at the end, we also have a total of 32 double crochets, just like we did for the sixth row. So continue and finish the seventh row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the seventh row. To finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the seventh row with a total of 32 double crochets. Now, we're going to make one more row. So for row eight, chain two and into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. For this row, all we're going to do are double crochets all around. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now this is how I finish the eighth row with 32 double crochets. Now for the ninth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch here, we're going to make one double crochet, but we're going to make these double crochets into the front loop of each one of these stitches. So beginning here, this first one into the same stitch, we did the slip stitch, which is the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. So that's one, two, three. Into the fourth, two double crochets. One and two. Again, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. And into the fourth, two double crochets. Continue like this for this ninth row. At the end of the ninth row, you should have a total of 40 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row. I have 40 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the ninth row with 40 double crochets. Now for the 10th row, we're going to chain two. Now into this same stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet double crochet into the next two and into the fourth stitch two double crochets here it's okay we can do um, insert our hook through both loops now again I'm going to make three double crochets one two three and into the next two double crochets continue like this at the end of this tenth row you should have a total of 50 double crochets I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this 10th row to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the 10th row with a total of 50 double crochets. Now for the next row, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn this like this. We're going to work five double crochets into this double crochet like this, like this. So work five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to skip one double crochet and into the next, this one here, we're going to work five double crochets, but we're going to work them going down. So these we worked going up and these are going to be worked going down. So this is how we're going to alternate from here on. So into this double crochet, make five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. Now skip one double crochet and into the next, work five double crochets going up. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one double crochet and into the next, work five double crochets going down like this. One, two, three, four, and five, and so on. This is how you're going to continue, and this is what it looks like, these little waves. Okay, so continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end. Here, this last group of five double crochets, I had to uh, use the chains um, because I was short one stitch. So it worked out pretty good. Uh, here at the end, all I did was also just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and I'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And that's what it looks like. So as it is, your baby booty is done. You can leave it as it is, or you can um, do what I'm going to do next. So using this cream color white, I'm going to insert my hook here into this next double crochet. Bring this loop through the front and chain one. Now here we're going to work four single crochets. One, two, three. Actually for this first one, we're going to do three because I already have the chain here, so that's four. Now in the middle right here, insert your hook and make a single crochet, chain three, and then a single crochet again into that same space, and then continue and work four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Then again, insert your hook into the center here, make a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet. And then again, work four single crochets and repeat. Continue like this all around. Here at the end, we're just going to join to the first chain here with a slip stitch after we make our um, last single crochet, three chain single crochet. So I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this last row here. All I did was just make my last uh, single crochet, three chain, then single crochet into the center uh, space here. And then I just joined to the first uh, chain that we did. Uh, I cut my yarn, passed my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done, and that's what it looks like. So now what we can do is um, you can do, um, you can put a ribbon here around this second row, this row here, 
or you can do a little cord like I did here. So I'm going to show you how to do this little cord. So I have some yarn here. I have left um, this end, this is about 60 inches or about 152 centimeters. And then this here is coming from the skein. So what we're going to do is using the same hook, a three millimeter crochet hook, we're going to wrap this yarn around the hook, grab a loop, again, wrap it around the hook, grab a loop, wrap, grab a loop, wrap, grab a loop. This is all I'm going to do. Once this is done, it's going to measure about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. Okay, so continue and finish uh, making your cord. Then you can just put it around like I did here, and then I'll come back and show you our finished baby booty. Okay, I finished making my cord. It's measuring about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. Now here, what I did is I just, I cut my yarn and I'm just going to pass both ends through this last loop like this. And then you can just pull it here and that should close. Now you can make a little knot here, but first you need to pass it through this row here, which is what I'm going to do next. So um, I'll come back and show you our finished baby booties. Okay, I finished making my baby booties. This is what it looks like. I think they turned out super cute and they were very easy to make. Now here, what I did uh, with the little cord was just weaved it here in the center through this row, or you can also just weave it here on the inside. Okay, so uh, this baby set has been complete. I know many of you have been waiting for the matching baby booties, so here they are. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the links to these tutorials. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.